At the start of day one, we started in Hangar 4, and we started cleaning the hangar as it is. Uh, it was very dusty and quite in bad state. Uh, we had a bit of an issue with water, making it hard to clean, but we managed to get through it. The first day we encountered issues with water resources, which really tested our patience. On day two in the morning, we had issues being allowed onto the premises, but once we were allowed on, we started washing the floor and planes with soap and water in Hangar 4. A lack of communication between groups caused a lot of disorder, but we overcame that. Uh, there was a lot of progress on day two compared to day one, um, especially with, being, with cleaning the floor with water. We found that the museum lacks funding and we as a group found the state of the whole museum to be quite sad. Day 3, we cleaned the Boeing and there was still this order between all the groups but it was a fun day because we had to use all the hose pipes from the fire hydrants. During this time, we learned there are strong few individuals can drive you to success. Dedication, punctuality and the positive outlook on the project is essential for the success of this project. Day 4 starts in cold weather. Today's mission was to redo the hangar floors due to the rain, washing sand into the hangar and then preparing the airstrip displays. Our most important task of the day was utilizing a water hose to clean the displays effectively. On day 5 we had to clean the jets under the shelter the week before the air show. We had a bit of an issue with all the groups working on the jets at the same time and then there were a lot of people just standing around and not really working. We as a group had to learn how to manage our time properly in order to accomplish all the goals set for the project. We would like to thank the following people uh, for their involvement in the project. Uh, firstly, Swartkorp Air Force Museum for the opportunity that they gave us. And the University of Pretoria. And the community-based project, and sp specifically Dr. Martina Jordan. The head of the Aeronautical Society, David Toma, for, the, for managing the project and his passion for planes, as well as all the other teams involved. 